Hello friends, welcome to video tutorial of PrestaShop Salesforce Connector. This extension helps to integrate data between PrestaShop and Salesforce. It has option as manual or real-time synchronization of leads, customers, categories, and orders. It helps to increase data integrity and to provide brilliant services up to desired level. If we talk about features, the synchronization of PrestaShop contact us to Salesforce as leads, Synchronization of PrestaShop customers to Salesforce as accounts and contacts. Synchronization of PrestaShop categories and products to Salesforce, respectively. And synchronization of PrestaShop orders to Salesforce. Admin can synchronize leads, customers, categories, and orders in real time as per the business requirement. Admin can synchronize existing lead as well. Synchronization of Salesforce orders to PrestaShop's orders and synchronization of Salesforce products to PrestaShop products. So both ways synchronization is available for products. Admin has to set up default shipping and payment methods and can map Salesforce order status to PrestaShop order status. Automatic order status update on Salesforce as this functionality is provided in this connector and you can set default folder in which you can save the images of the categories and the products in your Salesforce org, and you can select default price book for the corresponding product to display and synchronize in the Salesforce end. So this is all about the features of this connector. Let's proceed to install it from the App Exchange. Then further, we will proceed to configure it and install the connector at the PrestaShop end. In order to install this application from the App Exchange, you need to search for eShop Sync for PrestaShop. In the search results, you need to select the eShop Sync for PrestaShop. So this is our application. Click on Get It Now. It will ask for the login. As per your Salesforce credentials, so you need to log in with that. Once you get logged in with your Salesforce credentials, it will ask for the installation in production or in sandbox. So proceed accordingly. On the next page, it will provide information related to this application, such as packet name, version, and all like this. So just go through it and just select the check mark and confirm and install. Further, it will ask to log in with your Salesforce credentials again. Once you get logged in with your Salesforce credentials, further it will ask for the options to select for the users and profiles. So you need to select for install for all users and click on install and uh, it will pop up once it gets completed. So click on done and you will get the setup page like this. So this is the application that we have installed. You can check the all the components from here, the custom fields, all the things. So now, so now the first thing that you need to do is after the installation of eShop Sync for PrestaShop, you need to update the field accessibility of all the custom fields that is created by this application. So you need to go through this blog that you will find in the user guide. And uh, you need to update all the fields mentioned over here for the specific objects like lead object you need to update the field accessibility so that it will allow the synchronization process to fetch the details and display accordingly once you update all the field accessibility of this uh, fields available over here that is need to be updated then you need to generate a wsdl file that is needed once we install the connector at the presto shop in so we need to update a wsdl file so you need to go through this blog you will find the steps over here how you can generate the enterprise wsdl that we need to upload so go through this blog and upload the 
upload and generate the WSDL file further that is required at the PrestaShop end. So let's proceed to install the connector at PrestaShop and configure it accordingly. So this is our PrestaShop backend. So from here, you need to go to administration. I'm sorry, you need to go to modules and services, then click on modules and services. And uh, you need to click on add a new module. And from here, you will find an option once you click on that to choose a zip file. So you need to upload that connector zip that you will find once you purchase the connector. So you need to select that and upload this module. You will get a confirmation once it gets installed like this. And you will, once you scroll down, you will find an application over here. So you need to click on install and click on proceed with installation. And further, you will find a Salesforce connector section over here like this. Once you hover over that, you will find all these synchronization tabs for products, categories, customers, leads, mapping the order fields, mapping the lead status, and everything. So first, as we are on the configuration page of this connector, so we need to fill the details, this username, password, and the security token that you can generate from your setup of the personal. And uh, you can just create a security token by going through personal and reset your security token. You will find that security token on your email and you can enter the same over here. So go ahead and fill all the details so that uh, we will just configure everything. Once you fill all the details, click on save and uh, further you will get a confirmation that it has been successfully updated. And you will find a new tab for settings in order to configure a few more things like the currency, the language, the document folder in which you want to save all the images of the products and categories at the Salesforce end, and the price book as well, if you have created apart from the standard one, that all will be displayed over here. And uh, this is the option through which you can just just create a real-time synchronization of leads, customers, categories, and order. So I'm just enabling all the options. This will help all the leads, the customers, and categories, and orders to synchronize on real-time basis. Once it gets registered, once it gets entered and purchased. So once you get done with that, click on Save. And you will get again the confirmation that settings have been saved. And lastly, we need to upload the WSDL file that you have generated. Select the file and click on upload. So once you upload the WSDL file, you will get a confirmation that settings have been successfully updated. So now we have configured the settings and uh, there is one more option over here, a new section that is previous contact or state lead. So it is basically information of all the contactors uh, who just be who will be created as a lead on the Salesforce end. So all the details will be displayed over here. So it's a different section for that. So now let's proceed to synchronize the data. First, we will proceed to synchronize customers. So from here, you need to hover over Salesforce and click on Sync Customers. And you need to click on Sync Customers to Salesforce. Further, you will find this option to select the PrestaShop customers, select all, and click on Start Adding Customers to Salesforce. And it will start the synchronization process. So once it gets completed, you will find all the detailed list of the customers get synchronized with the Salesforce IDs will be generated over here. So let's verify at the Salesforce end as well. So from the app menu, you need to select eShop Sync. 
and you will get the interface for PistaShop Salesforce. So you need to click on that and you will get the starting page. So this will be the interface. So as we have synchronized customers, so click on customers and you will find that we have three customers that gets synchronized from the Presta shop. Rest three are the default one of the Salesforce, so you need not to worry about that. So as you can see that three records, three customers has been synchronized successfully from the Presta shops to Salesforce. So all the details will be displayed accordingly over here. So now let's verify the synchronization of categories. So from the Salesforce section, click on sync categories and click sync categories to Salesforce and you will find the list of categories mentioned over here. So just you need to click on start adding categories to Salesforce. Again, once it gets completed, you will find the detailed list of all the categories with the Salesforce account and categories ID. So accordingly, we need to verify as 10 categories has been synchronized to Salesforce. So let's verify the same at the Salesforce. So this is the interface. Click on categories and uh, this is a records per page option so that we have 10 so we will select 20 so that we will get a list of all the categories and you can verify the number of records synchronized as 10 with the images and the category name and with the description as well so now we need to verify the same for the products so click on sync products and we have three options over here, like sync products to Salesforce, sync products from Salesforce and manual mapping. So as of now, we need to select uh, sync products to Salesforce and we need to synchronize the things. Okay, now select PrestaShop products. So you will find all the products mentioned over here. Select all and click on start adding products to Salesforce and it will start the process again. So now all the detail list of the sync products will be displayed in the same way. So as we have seven products synchronized with Salesforce and so let's verify the same. Over here, there's a search option and the records per page. So it's seven products. So we will select 10. You can filter by all the categories available and also the price book be displayed accordingly so now as we have seven products so total records seven that has been synchronized the name image categories reference code and all the things will be displayed accordingly so now we will proceed further to synchronize orders and verify the same click on sync orders also, there is an option to sync orders to Salesforce and sync orders from Salesforce. So in the same way, I'll verify for the sync orders to Salesforce so that you have an idea about the synchronization. Click on sync products, sync PrestaShop orders and select all and click on start adding orders to Salesforce. So as you can see, the seven orders available at your Presto shop and has been successfully synchronized with the Salesforce end. So let's verify, click on orders. So you can see total record seven. So this is the order section and the order number, the account details the status as well the career and the amount so everything is displayed accordingly so it seems that the synchronization process is working fine from this presto shop and salesforce and vice versa so let's proceed to sync a few other options over here Let's proceed to verify the contact us synchronization as I have enabled the real-time synchronization of contact us as leads to Salesforce. So let's verify as I'm creating one contact us 
response from here from the website so it will be automatically synchronized as it has some error over here so now as the it has been sent successfully so it should be synchronized automatically to the Salesforce end so let's verify the same in the lead section so you can find that the contact us response has been generated and synchronized as leads automatically from your website to the Salesforce so this is the real-time synchronization about the contact us and you can verify the same at the Presto shop end as well if you click on sync leads you'll find the details of that contact us response with the synchronization details so now we have few options as well for mapping the order details you can select the default shipping method by clicking on edit available over here and also the payment method as well so you can verify it accordingly you can map the order status of Presta shop end with this salesforce you can add click on add new map and you can select all the possible mapping fields available over here with the salesforce and Presta shop so this is all about the mapping of order details and uh, also, you can map the lead status like as in this Presta shop contact us status that is open, closed, and all. So you can change, click on change the status mapping and uh, select it accordingly. That will be synchronized with the Salesforce lead status accordingly that is available. So this is all about the functionality and the synchronization part of this Presta shop Salesforce connector. So we have synchronized the things in the Salesforce classic view as our connector is supportable to the lightning view as well and with upgraded with all the latest features so let's verify the same in the salesforce lightning view and one more thing prior just switching to the lightning view you need to register your domain so this blog link you will find in the user guide section so you may go through this blog in order to register your domain if you have not registered then only you can avail this functionality in the Salesforce Lightning View. So now I'm switching to Salesforce Lightning View from the drop-down. Click on Switch Lightning Experience. Let's verify. So this will be the interface in the Salesforce Lightning View. So let's proceed to verify the details in the Lightning View. So if you click on Leads, we have synchronized this one lead. And in the same way, the products with all the details will be displayed accordingly. Same goes with categories, orders, customers, and documents. So these are all these different sections available. As we have selected the eShop Sync folder to store our images of products and categories so it will be displayed you need to select the folder and then it will be displayed accordingly so this is all about the configuration and synchronization process and setup of this eShop thing for PrestaShop in classic and lightning view so once you go through all this configuration you will easily manage your configuration and synchronization path and also you may click on user guide you will get the blog with all the details and the steps in order to configure this application in classing and lightning view and also you will get all the required links mentioned over here for the field accessibility generating wsdl and registering the domain as well and i hope that you like this video thanks a lot for your time have a great day.